Hey everyone, welcome back into Mountain Dog Companion, hanging out with Noel and Gunner's Litter today and talking about each one throughout the video. Okay guys, so there's four boys, three girls in this litter. First up, we're gonna be talking about the girls um, and their personalities and uh, talking a little bit about each one. So uh, starting things off over here on my left is Mocha. She's a chocolate uh, tricolor female. Um, she does have more of a curlier coat and has stunning tan points coming through here. Um, just very bright, maybe a little bit on the lighter side compared to like Hawk. Uh, which you'll see later on in the video, but um, absolutely phenomenal girl. Um, maybe, I, I feel like she is very middle of the road if you're comparing these three. Uh, she's right in the middle of the pack when it comes to size. Uh, she might be a little bit leaning towards her and um, Peach are very similar when it comes to size. Um, but as far as personality, we got Rosie over here. She's an outgoing one and Peach here. She's very laid back, uh, more chilled out. And so, and she kind of falls right in the middle of that. So Mocha is kind of a middle child. Um, she got a little bit of white up front and a little bit more of a curlier coat. Um, coming through, you'll definitely see a very solid chocolate coat color. A little bit of white on that hind paw on the bottom, um, actually kind of on both sides. And um, a beautiful girly there to start things off. So she's more middle of the road. She has her spurts where she can, you know, have a good time, have fun, but she's also not like super, super outgoing and super energetic um, or anything like that. She's just very even keeled um, and super confident as well. She's a confident little girl. Um, moving on here to my right, uh, we have Rosie. She is a black, white, and tan tri and um, she has a little bit of weight up front, um, just a little bit of a spot. I don't know if you can really see that. There you go. And uh, she is a little bit on the smaller side. Um, kind of has a curlier coat, uh, or not quite as curly as Mocha, uh, but still has some curls coming through like here on around the ears um, and around the face a little bit. Um, but a stunning girl as far as conformation. And if you prefer like a darker, um, just a more of a solid look, um, she's, I mean, she's perfect. She's wonderful for that. I love her coloration. Her coat's very silky, very, very soft. Um, she's super sweet and she is a fun little girl. She loves people, loves hanging out. She's a little bit more outgoing, a little bit more energetic. Um, I think she'd do great with kids. Um, and I think she like her interaction uh, with people in general is super, super special. So I'm um, loving this little girl here. Her name's Rosie. And then I'm gonna wake a girl up here from her nap. See if she'll be grouchy, maybe not. Um, so we have Sweet Peach here. Um, she is a uh, Merle tricolor um, Harlequin chocolate tri and you got beautiful chocolate coming through um, you got kind of the tweed coming through up top which is your in-between it's kind of a lighter chocolate and then you have a lighter merle uh, color coming through along with white uh, that beautiful tan coming through too uh, which is different compared to that tweed color uh, so it really all in all she'd have the dark chocolate she'd have white she'd have tweed She'll have the lighter color Merle, and then she has tan. So five different colors on this little girl, which is crazy, um, but absolutely phenomenal. She's more laid back, more chilled out. Um, she has a nice medium coat when it comes to like um, texture and wavy slash curly. Um, she's not super, super curly, but she's also not um, super straight or not super wavy. Um, fully furnished, I mean, these guys are phenomenal. Um, each and every one of these puppies are doing great. Uh, super, super special. Um, and really looking forward to uh, seeing how these guys come along. So um, these guys will be around 20, I would say probably 18 to 25 pounds probably. Uh, some might be pushing that 25 pounds. I know two of the boys are pretty chunky, uh, so they might be pushing it a little bit. Um, but for the girls, I would say probably in that 
um, 18 and 25 pound range. I, I'm guessing Ruby won't or Rosie won't be um, won't be crazy crazy big. So, um, but yeah, they're doing good. Okay, guys, moving on to the boys in this litter. Uh, they're all doing great. There's four boys. Um, I'll e e introduce these guys here real quick. Uh, we got Hawk here on the left, kind of in the middle here now. Um, and then we got Biscuit um, in the back in the center. And then we got Hero to the right, uh, the chocolate try. And then we got Buddy back here hanging out with me. So um, they're all doing great and we'll get started. So moving on to Buddy here. Um, he is probably the more outgoing one, um, a little bit more um, outgoing and energetic, very fun to be around, always has his tail up high, um, always in good spirits, and I love his coat as well. Got a very nice uh, wave slash curl coming through. Um, another um, very similar to Rosie, um, more of the darker uh, shade. You can see kind of the black coming through on the paws as well, um, underneath that tan and around the feet um, and then a little bit of weight up front just a little bit less what's up buddy um a little bit less than rosie but just a touch of weight over here um and just a phenomenal guy i'm gonna set him down i'm afraid if i pile four guys here in this bed it might be a little bit much so um we'll move on here to mr hero and he is more middle of the road, more a little bit more chilled out, if anything, um, but definitely uh, middle of the road. I mean, he's not super energetic, but he's also not super, super laid back. Um, you got the nice white socks coming through, nice white blaze. Um, I just feel like he's a happy medium when it comes to his personality. And then his coloration is absolutely phenomenal. He does have a little bit more of a wavy coat, not, not, or not necessarily super curly. You can see some of those curls coming around the ears. Um, a nice good amount here on the ears. You'll definitely see some curl coming through, um, but he, he does have more leaning towards that wavy coat. Um, so for an F1, that's, that's definitely good to see. Um, or F1B, that's definitely good to see. Um, more leaning towards that F1 coat, uh, but still getting that low, low shedding. So, um, but phenomenal guy. And I'm just gonna plop him down here too. Let him kind of roam around. <laughs> um, and then we'll move on. So um, we got Mr. Hawk and he is um, a little bit more on the adventurous side, um, a little bit more outgoing, fun to be around. Um, he's always a good time, very confident, um, a super, super sweet guy. One thing I love about his coloration, his tan points are super dark and sharp. Um, so you'll definitely see um, in that coloration, I mean, it just pops off of his face. It's like, it really meshes well with um, his chocolate coloration, um, kind of meshing together with the tan and it just, I mean, it explodes off of his face. So a uh, phenomenal guy, but very uh, fun to be around a little bit more on the outgoing side um, and definitely a little bit more adventurous, very fun little guy um, and doing very well. As far as size goes, um, so Buddy, and Biscuit here um, are probably the two biggest. And then um, the other two boys, which would be um, Hawk and, uh, help me out, <laughs> and Blanken, Hero, um, would be uh, kind of very similar in size, not necessarily smaller, or, or not necessarily small, um, but a little bit smaller um, than Biscuit and Buddy. So, uh, all right, so moving on, last but not least in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Biscuit. Um, he's a nice, chunky boy, um, more heavier set, uh, set very round face, um, just absolutely beautiful head, um, nice and round, big on there for the guy. He's got nice white in the front as well, um, a little bit more white on his toes, um, and on the hind paws, it kind of comes through on the tippy toes. Um, beautiful coat there, a little bit more on the wavy side as well. And for him, with his personality, he's definitely very laid back, um, a little bit more timid, if anything. 
um, but once he warms up to something and gets used to something, he is completely fine. Um, he's just a little bit more reluctant um, sometimes right away and then he'll warm up and he'll be great. So um, just a little bit more um, on that side when it comes to his personality and also lower energy. So he's got a lower drive, um, just a little bit more easygoing and just wants to hang out, take it easy. Um, so very, very sweet guy for, for him, so. Again, guys, this is Noel's litter, uh, Noel and Gunner, and um, they're coming up. They're about five weeks old right now, and they'll be ready to go home on Christmas Day. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing pickups on Christmas Day, but um, and that's their take-home date, um, I guess, technically. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Uh, but if you guys have any questions about availability or getting on this list, let me know. I'd love to help you guys out. Um, but thanks for tuning in today, guys. I'll have my contact information here um, in the link below and on the screen. Um, so um, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to reach out. So thanks for tuning in today, guys. We'll see you next time. I hope you have a great rest of your day.